If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I know what time it is. Doctor's in the house, man. Hold on. Wait. We're in Florida, right? Yeah, and y'all know about the Hurricane Milton that's approaching, you know what I'm saying? So, it's only right that we change the setting to something more appropriate. Yeah, there we go. I think that's more fitting for the job. You know what I'm saying? Y'all pray for your boy. But check this out, man. We have some news coming out the Jamal Charlo camp. It's going to be involving Tank. Yeah. And the, and the capacity of which is involving Tank is that, you know, Tank is fighting Lamont Roach. I know a lot of people are disappointed. I know it's not the fight that we exactly wanted. But considering the circumstances, I think it's fine. You know, he couldn't get Lomachenko, who didn't want to fight. Ryo was just coming off the um, the Pitbull victory, you know, and they might have it. And they're, it seems like they're going to have a rematch. And, you know, everybody wants Shakur, right? Well, Shakur's hand is hurt so badly that he can't even fight Joe Cordina. So I think that this move against Lamont Roach is just a pivot. You know, it's just an alternative similar to what Naya anyway did when he fought TJ Doheny instead of Sam Goodman. You know, that wasn't the plan, but he, he pivoted and fought somebody else, you know, just for the time being to make up for the fight that he couldn't have in order to stay active. That's all I see this as, you know, and instead of TJ Doheny, you know what I'm saying, who wasn't that great of an opponent, let's, let's be honest, Lamont Roach, at least he's a former champion, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, not a former champion. He's a current champion. I apologize. He's a current champion of 130. And I think that this fight, they have some history between each other in the amateur ranks and being from the same area. So I'm not saying this is a great fight, but I'm saying that it will suffice for now just to keep Javante, uh, uh, just to keep him active. Just like I'd rather see him fight, just like I'd rather see Naya Inouye fight anybody than not be active at all. And hopefully we'll get other fights in the in the future. And so this fight will be in Texas. And I was like, hmm, maybe Charlo will make an appearance. And sure enough, Jabal Charlo, Big Charlo, is going to be on this card, man. That's great. I think this is awesome. <laughs> you know in december so i look forward to it and if you are a little disappointed in the tank versus lamont roach matchup at least this will hopefully you know supplement what you feel like it was missing you know what i'm saying as far as tank's opponent so i think this is good you know they, they in texas uh december 14th and jamal charlo will be at 168 most likely right because his last fight against jose benavidez you know is supposed to be at 160 which is middleweight but he missed the weight by like six pounds You know what I'm saying? So uh, he obviously won't be at 160 again. This is going to be at 168. Now, the only thing is that, you know, 168 is a pretty nice division right now. Of course, Canelo, he's levels above the rest. But other than Canelo, you know, uh, Cinnamon's oh, oh, um, his, uh, what could I say? His his former adversaries and his constituents, you know, they, they have a pretty good mix going on. You have Kayla Plant. Yeah. You have uh, Jaime Munguia, Edgar Berlanga, Diego Pacheco, Christian and Billy, and so on. Ozzy Iglesias, who's a young bull coming up, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to name everybody, but Jamal Charlo fighting any of those gentlemen would be intriguing, right? However, I don't think he's going to fight them. I, I would imagine that he's going to fight somebody that is a lot less notable and somebody that will be similar to a tune-up you know i know we don't want to hear that but yeah i think it'll function as a tune-up because let's let's face it you know jamal charlo we haven't seen him recently right he only fought one time in 2021 he didn't fight at all in 2022 he fought once in 2023 damn I'm sorry. And so now we're getting him at the end of 2024. So I just, I'm just happy to see him active. You know, he's going through his uh, mental issues and stuff like that in, in a depressive state. We wish him the best with that. You know, he's he's been very uh, open and disclosing the mental episodes he's going through. So we, we should wish him the best and just be happy that we can see him back in the ring. And then hopefully we'll get Charlo versus uh, Caleb Pledge, you know what I'm saying, to, to get some recompense for that slap. Because Caleb Plant, don't play no games, and I would love to see that fight. I like Caleb Plant a lot. I like Jamal Charlo. I would love to see that fight, man. I don't really have a horse in that race. So I would just love to see it. But I would like to see Jamal Charlo versus um, Edgar Belonga as well. And if and if he could beat any of those guys, then that would make the Canelo matchup more intriguing, you know what I'm saying, if that ever comes into fruition, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that. And then also let me know who you think he's going to fight. I'm hearing a lot of rumors about him potentially fighting Demetrius Bubu Andre. I don't really believe that just because, like I said, um, this is relatively short notice, but it could be. You know, Demetrius Andre, last time we saw him, he came off a loss to El Monstro. You know what I'm saying? Benavidez, the monster Benavidez. So that would be a very intriguing matchup, but I would say don't don't, don't get your hopes too high on that. I feel like it will be somebody less less popular than that, in my personal opinion. But 
Boo Boo would be dope. Boo Boo and Charlo, hey, that'll that'll really beef up the card with Tank versus Lamont Rose, yeah. man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Appreciate y'all rocking me as always. And remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. Y'all be safe out there, man, whether you're preparing for the hurricane or otherwise. You know, there's a lot of dangers uh, affiliated with the world and society today. So y'all be safe, man. Appreciate y'all. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.